Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a great week. Today I'm going to show you my December empties. Um, I don't really know, I don't really remember what I finished up this month, so I'm just going to reach in the bag and grab as I go, like always. First is this little mini eyeliner from Urban Decay. It's one of the 24-7s. It's in Corrupt. Looks like this. Um, I'm calling this done because when I apply it, it scratches me and I can't sharpen anymore because when I sharpen this part right here will twist but not this part and I can't get a good grip. I figured I've, I've put in my time with this eyeliner. So it's a good eyeliner. I would buy again, but I kind of have a lot of brownie eyeliners. So I'm going to use some up before I get another one. Next is the Kiss French Everlasting Little Nail Set. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my nails are short now. Um, I kind of wanted some like nicer nails for the holidays. So I put these on right before I went on vacation. I do like these a lot. They don't look like natural nails, but they do look like you went to a salon and put a set on. And they do last about a week. Um, so these I would recommend if you're in a bind. Next, I finished up this Bliss Lemmy, Lemon and Sage Soapy Suds. And this is just the body wash. I do love the smell on this. There's a little bit left, but it's mixed with water because my kids dumped it in the bathtub. And... It's, one of, it's a staple scent to me, and I have the lotion, um, several of them in my back socks, so would we purchase. Next, I have more of these little simple cleansing wipes, which I've talked about before. This is the eye makeup remover pads. I wouldn't buy these. I got these free and some sort of something. Um, so I wouldn't buy these, but they're all right. Finish up a shampoo, and by me, I mean everyone in my family <laughs> worked to finish this shampoo, because yeah, if you watch my other videos, you know shampoo is something that's hard for us to finish. This was a Pantene Clarifying Shampoo. Um, I've used, I used this a couple times, not my favorite. I hate clarifying shampoos on my hair. It just makes my hair feel so stripped and gross, so I don't really like using a clarifying shampoo. Um... And this I tried also to wash my brushes with, and it didn't do a good job washing my brushes. So I would never buy this shampoo again. And I think I got this in like a curl box or something, so I didn't even pick it out myself. Next, I finished up the Tea Tree Clearing or Face Wash from The Body Shop. I did enjoy this. It's a little too harsh for the winter, but in the summer I would buy it again. Um, this was an incident with my kids I'm very upset about. This was the Kiehl's Creme de Corpse that I got. I love this lotion. It's expensive if you ever checked it out. Um, my son has like drier skin. Um, so I let him use this one time. I was like, just grab mommy's lotion after he took a bath. And then I guess he was having a hard time squeezing it. So he poured water all in the bottle and just messed it all up. And so I used probably 75% of this myself, but the rest was just watered down so that's my little story for that um but i would recommend this it's just expensive finish up one of the sasebu cotton pads we buy again have bought several thousand times finish up the wind spring gardenia and green tea i love the smell of this very much and i would purchase again however i'm gonna start looking at other cleansing um conditioners other than wind but i would buy that again I finished up the Black Vanilla Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I use this mostly as a curl refresher, but I do enjoy it and I would buy it again. Finished up the Miss Jessie's Coily Custard. Um, I love this stuff. I really do. It's more expensive than my Eco Styler Gel, but I think it's working out a little bit better, at least in the colder weather. Um, so I definitely would buy this again, and I have two back, like in the back stock. Um, some of the things from my finished six, six by Christmas I that I finished was the Too Faced Primed and Poreless um, Primer. This was okay. Nothing special. I wouldn't buy it again. And the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. Um, again, I used to really, really love this stuff, but it's not my favorite anymore, so I wouldn't buy it again. But I don't have, like, a lot to, bad to say. I just like other stuff better. And then this I didn't finish in December. I think this finished up, this up in November, but this was part of the finished six by Christmas. This is a Clinique Black Honey Almost Lipstick. It was alright. I wouldn't buy it. Finished up the Dr. Jart Pore Minimalist um, Sheet Mask. I think I got this in a birch box. Um, this was okay. It was just a one-time use mask, so I don't really know if it made a difference in my skin. 
so I don't think I would go out and buy like the full box because I think it's kind of expensive. Finished up the bubbly shower gel from Philosophy. Um, it was alright, not my favorite scent that they make, but it was okay. If I found it like at TJ Maxx or something on sale, I might pick it up. Finish up the Biore Acne Clearance Scrub. This scrub wasn't really scrubby to me. It was like something I could use every day. I think I got this couponing. So I would buy it again couponing, but I wouldn't pay full price for it. Finish up the Sally Hansen Gel Strips. This is the ones that you cure under the light. Let me see if I saved any for you guys to see. I did not. Um, so it's just one of those nail stickers that you cure under light that lasts. I don't know, the last about three times I've used nail stickers, they didn't last that long, even this gel kind, and they didn't really work out the way I wanted them to, so I might be done with nail stickers for a while. Finished up this Cojun Doe cleansing water. I really did enjoy this cleansing water. This was a small size because I think per ounce, this is still cheaper than buying like a bigger size. Um, I know all year I've been talking about getting Bioderma and I never was able to get Bioderma all year because I had cleansing waters to finish up. And then I have more cleansing waters that I got in for Christmas. So Bioderma, maybe I'll see you in 2015. I don't know. We'll see. I finished up the um, Rejuvenique. I did a whole review on this. I'll leave a link down below if I can remember. I finished up the Fakai Glossing Cream. I really do enjoy this on my curly hair. It does moisturize my hair um, and leaves, oh, there's a motorcycle, and leaves some shine to it. I have another, I think I have two more of this size, so I don't have to buy this for a while, but I do like it. I finished up this Evoli Butter. I got this in a birch box, I want to say. It's like a thick cream, like really, really, there's nothing inside, but there was like a really thick, like, I want to say like chapstick like cream. I don't know where to get this. I wouldn't even know. Oh, I, here's a, a C by Chloe. I didn't finish this. I just poured this into my refillable travel. Refillable travel something. There's a, a specific name for it. I just don't remember it's the name off the top of my head. But you know what I'm talking about. One of those travel perfume things. I poured this inside of it. I love the scent. It's one of my 2015 goals to own this finally. But I have a lot of fragrance I need to finish up first. I finished up a Rockstar hand cream. This is okay. I would get again if it was on sale. I finished up the Nail Teaks Formula 2. And I believe this is why all my nails broke off because I stopped using this probably early December as I ran out of this and since then my nails have been like crap and so I need to get this back in my life. I need, I need, I need this back in my life. Finished up a little sample of the Josie Marin Argan Oil. I have lots of these little samples. I really do enjoy this stuff so I probably would buy the full size at one point. I finished up a Glam Glow Mask. This is the <clears throat> white version, the Super Mud. It's all the writing has been worn off. I do enjoy this mud. It's just hard for me to spend $70 on a mask. Um, so when I get a sample, I like hoard the samples. This sample, I mainly used it on spots. So if I got a blemish, I would put it on it overnight, just leave it on overnight, and it would re dramatically reduce it. And this is the only thing that I could say does reduce it. So for this size sample, I try not to put it on my face. I just try to use a spot treatment. That's why this has lasted so long. Um, but maybe one day I'll buy this again. It's just $70 for a face mask. I just, I can't sometimes. Um, I finished up another shampoo, but this was mostly, I used this like twice on my daughter. I used on my daughter's hair. This was a triple repair fortifying shampoo. I have 50 million of these thanks to my sister. So... We'll see. Um, I finished up a little 100 point perk of the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. I love this stuff. My favorite exfoliator. I have two of the small size and backups in my closet. Don't want to be without this stuff. I finished up this Tarte Maracuja eye cream. It's just a little bit left. This I think is my favorite eye cream. I've used this little, these little slides several times and I think this is by far my favorite eye cream. I have a lot of eye cream to use up but once I do I think I'm going to go back to this and get a full size. 
I finished up this Naked Skin Beauty Balm or BB Cream. I don't like this stuff. This is like a weird pinky color on your skin. I just forced myself to use it. I don't like it. I finished up the Dr. Lips Original Nipple Balm for lips. Um, I do like this stuff. This stuff really works, especially, you know, in the winter fall, you know, the matte lip phase. This really keeps your lips in good shape. However, this is expensive for the size that you get. So I think the main ingredient is Landolin. So I think I'm going to check out um, like Target or Walmart because I know they make Landolin for if you're breastfeeding. So if you're a mom, you know, you've used Landolin um, for other things. So I think I'm just going to see if that will work. But I do like this stuff. So that's it. That's my December empties. I hope you guys are going to have a very joyful and prosperous 2015. I talk to you guys later. Thank you for all the support that you guys have given me in 2014. I got a lot of new subscribers and I wish you guys nothing but the best and I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.